be the key of my assets. <laughs> you didn't say anything. You didn't, no, you, didn't, you just said three times. <laughs> We're just looking. We look so bad. <laughs> there's a delay. There's a delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, what's, what's popping and cracking, cracking guys? everybody? Sheesh. All right, hey, what's up? Okay, so we are live on <laughs> on, on Facebook and on YouTube, which is insane. Yeah. All right, but first, you know, we'll get you know we'll get get the chance to say hi. Yeah, what's up, everyone? everyone? What's up, everyone? So, right, how's everyone doing? All right. So, that was a weird <laughs> start. I'm that not going to lie. Yeah, because yeah, there's a delay. <laughs> there's a, like a massive delay. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So, you know, um, we're here. You know, we're at the moment. And it's cool to be back. Mm -hmm. um, so, we're streaming on two platforms right now. Sheesh. If you're, you know, if you feel comfortable, why don't you go say hi? All right, go say hi. Hi to really the people to, in chat. You know, to anyone, right? To anyone in the in the chat, or you mm -hmm. you yourself say hi. Yeah. All right, say hi. You know, it's it's cool that we are we we get to um, stream, and um, we get to be like in multi uh, platforms. Yeah, multi platform. You know what I'm so if you guys are new to this, um, mm -hmm. to this, um, so we are. Uh, my name is Christian. This is Morgi. If you guys, yes. if you guys are just new to this uh, podcast, yes, I so to introduce, yeah. yeah, so welcome to Shift Happens, yeah. where Shift happens. happens. So, um, feel Mike free to stands, yes, yes, feel free to um, share um, as well with your friends and family. Yes, for sure. Um, go share this. All right, we'd love that you know you guys yeah. get to um, to. Um, see, yeah, see. So we got you know some people in the comments. We got Jared in the comments. All oh, right. Jared, Jared Torres, the red Sheesh. team himself, Sheesh. is in the comments. What's up? All right. Um, we've got this is in Facebook and another in YouTube. You got Mr. Sisley Paul. All right. So mm -hmm. you know you just say hi. Just go share this. All right. Go share this link to other people, to all people. <laughs> to, you know, to all people that you can get to. Um, to, to share this too, you know, it's always, you know, yep. it is, it's something good, you know. Because I think that, you know, most of the things we talk about, right, 
not saying they're perfect or anything mm-hmm. by all means, right? But you know, um, we do believe that they do uh, they do make sense and they do, yeah. you know, um, the younger generation would need it, like, you know, yeah. as they Definitely. progress through life, as they, you know, move forward, all right? The Starbucks drip, Chris, right? Yes. Yeah, of you course. You gotta, you know, flex the little uh, venti. Venti what ice. That? Ice caramel macchiato, ice caramel as usual. Macchiato. I forgot to uh, name it as uh, Mark <laughs> Arthur, you know, as usual. Oh, you didn't use it, Mark. But I just named it as Mark. <laughs> All right. You see but yes, you know, um, we, of course, we're still in our, what do you call this? Uh, topic? Topic, there yes. we go. The one in my head is subtopic, and I have to <laughs> say topic. Anyways, <laughs> right, we're still in the topic of, you know, um, what do you call this? Uh, Love there. Love there, all right. That mm-hmm. is, you know, it is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to talk about, really. All right. Wait, wait. Someone said, "Where's the link for Twitch?" All right. Oh, we, we're we're um we're still not sure. Are about we considering Twitch in the future? Maybe, 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 maybe. not. Maybe yeah, it depends. It depends, honestly. Yeah. Who knows, right? Who knows? Who knows? But you know, it, Spotify though. It's gonna be a cool thing. Spotify, on the other hand, is gonna be. I was asked actually. If this thing goes on Spotify, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a good thing to have. Yeah, I mean, sp- oh, yeah, Spotify is actually yeah, good. Yeah, it is a good thing to have. These podcasts. Right. Yes. Um, so, um, the Facebook comment is kind of... Uh, yeah, it's kind of active. What's up, guys? It's very active. What's and up, um, Arlene? Welcome to uh, Shift Happens. Yeah. Right. Welcome, uh, Miss Creasy. What's there up? Go. There we go. Go now. I can see it. Now I can see the comments. Beautiful comments. So um, if we could scroll down All as well. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So I see the comments <laughs> now. Mm-hmm. It is. You know. It is. Yeah. It kind of lagged over there. Yeah. It kind of did lag. So that's gonna be good. Anyways. Yeah. Multi-platform. Of course. You know. It's always beautiful thing to mm-hmm. be able to do it. All right. Um. I just think that you know. It's you know. It's one way to. Reach out a lot. Mul- yeah, multiple. Faster? Yeah, it's a lot better, you know. Mm-hmm. Because there's, there is so much people who can get to watch it, you know. And they have their preference. And, yeah, you know, there's that. Some people want YouTube, some, some people, people only have Facebook. Facebook because, you know, YouTube takes so much of their uh, data. storage or data or yep, whatever. That's so true. Right? So, yeah, <clears throat> MySpace. We don't have MySpace. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but, anyways, okay, so good to be here. All right, of course, we're still in the topic of Love Dare. Love Dare. All right, and for tonight, all right, we're going to talk about our subtopic mm-hmm. is uh, Love Seeks to Understand. Sheesh. Right? Love Seeks to Understand. Again, this is, um, um, I think it is one of those topics that is going to hit really good again Mm -hmm. all right so okay when we say all right when we say seeks to understand all right love seeks to understand what are the first things that would come to your mind one word one word like uh what are the uh what is one word that would come to your mind when someone says love seeks to understand wait seeks yeah seeks to understand i mean um well yeah, accepting. one word, just one word. It doesn't have to be sentence, it doesn't have to be a phrase. Right? Accepting? Accept it. All right, people in the chat, you can comment too, right? <coughs> yeah, you guys can you, put you up what, could, what you think. Yeah, what you guys think, you know, comes into mind when you say love seeks to understand. Because there's, there's so many things that, you could, you know, I, mm-hmm. that comes to my head already. Okay, but you know, I want to see, like, I want to see, like, you know, what, what, what people would have to, you know, what people would have to think of, what people have to say, what yeah. people have to, you know, um, what do you call this? Envision. Oh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> All right. Um, because, you know, it could, you know, it could mean many things. Mm-hmm, that's um, true. It's the love seeks to understand. One would, one thing would be compromise. Oh, yeah. All right. True. Um, if you do <clears throat> wish to you seek to understand. All right. There's compromise. There's, um, you said acceptance. Yeah. All right. Um, there is, let's see. What else are there? There is um, kindness, mm-hmm. right? There has to be uh, gentleness and understanding. There has to be patience. You know, you know those things, right? Those little things. I yeah. answered everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, right? That is okay. But anyways, right? Anyways, um, those like those things. You know, again, to the people who are watching, 
you can comment. Yeah, there feel free to no um, voice out uh, your opinions. Yeah, there, you know, there's no, what do you call this? No. Wrong answers. No wrong answers. There's no shame. Yeah, right. definitely. Okay, go answer. Right? Go answer. Give us the best answer you've got. All right. Okay, we're going to read a uh, passage in Scripture which says, Proverbs, in Proverbs 3, in verse 13, it says, How blessed is the man who finds wisdom and mm-hmm. the man who gains understanding. All right. God bless your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Man. All right. Um, what's up? All right. Our, our streamer <laughs> friends in the chat. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, we enjoy, right? We enjoy discovering as much as we can about things we truly care about. That's very true. Yeah, that's like, so things true. We're, um, we are passionate about. Mm-hmm. We go in depth with understanding. Yeah. And, you know, discovering as much as we can. Let's say, um, what are you very much passionate about? I'm not saying it's a person, right? It yeah, could be if you want to, right? it can be anything, yeah. honestly. If you want to, right? If you want to, I'm not gonna. I know. can't say music is my passion. <laughs> that's that's right. very common. Oh, um, I would say, as of now, I'm not really into keyboards. If you, Any, yeah, I'm right noticed. now. So right yeah. now, I'm not really into You're keyboards. Not in the keyboard I'm, phase. I'm as of now. Yeah, I I I already quit the hobby, okay. but like. Sure, if you're gonna give me a keyboard, why not? Why not? Why okay, not? Why okay, not? Okay, okay, okay. But like right now, my passion uh-huh. is probably just playing, playing Valorant. Valorant, okay. Playing the, Sage the mainly. Grind has That's been it. Um, unreal. Yeah, honestly, recently, yeah. the grind's been crazy. Uh, if you do not know, right, we have started to. Actually, you know, grind, you know? Yeah. Passion is fashion, someone says. <laughs> right? is fashion, fashion is fashion. <laughs> right? Or fashion is passion. Yes. Right? That is true, though. You know, I have, for some reason, right, mm-hmm. I, I've just discovered right, a great friend called Pinterest. I love Pinterest. <laughs> right? uh, if, you, if you're, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're a close friend of mine, you know. Right? Um, yeah. <laughs> someone said Grimwalls. But really, like, true. um, uh, Pinterest is my best friend as of the moment. Um, everything, not really everything, but most of the time, right? If I would wear something, it it, it it's based off of that. I mean, yeah, I like, mean, it's Pinterest based is, off of that. Pinterest is mostly where everyone goes. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, it, it's really. Uh, it, it, I find it really, you know. Uh, I find it very really cool that you know. Oh, I get it. Oh, that, that thing looks. You know, that thing looks good. I'll try to wear it. Wear something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's where I base a lot of my outfits recently. You know, all this so- drip, right? All this drip. <laughs> okay, I think another passion of Chris is treating, like you know, treating people. Yeah, I mean, maybe my passion is uh, being a good friend. <laughs> being a good friend. I do believe that Christian is a good friend. All right, is a good friend. All right, Pinterest is basic boy. No, I don't <laughs> think so, really. I mean, you're I mean, not, yo, whoever said that is like so true. If you're into Pinterest right yeah. now, you're so late into the trend. I know, like Pinterest. Can, yeah, I just got into it now. Like I don't even know. Pinterest so. was like, uh, like the main thing back back then. I, that's why back I then, heard. That's, that's, why, like, that's so, why when I when, when yeah. I found it, I was like, they're like all my friends are like. Wait, you just knew that now? Yeah, like, because like, yeah, let's say if you ever get like um, photo ideas, yes. you get video ideas, it's you get like everything, designs, arts and stuff, yes. it's all it's in, all in Pinterest, so, that's yeah. the thing. I, I, I'm late to the trend, people. Call me old soul. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, but yes, you know, there's so much things we go in depth about when, you know, when, we, when we're passionate about something. Mm-hmm. You know, let's say uh, our favorite basketball team, right? We we know all the players. We all are our favorite football team, right? The history. And I remember when we were younger, right? The three of us, me, and my brother, and mm-hmm. me and my two other brothers, all right? We are into football. Yeah. Soccer. Oh yeah. And, yeah. Any article that helps us, you know, keep up with how they're doing, all right? We'd read it, and mm-hmm. I remember like buying books. Yeah. Literal. I do not read books. <laughs> if you know me, I do not. I'm not the biggest fan of reading books. But for the sake of you know learning the sport and you know yeah. actually like going into the in depth with the sport, we actually bought books and you know I started reading those. Books. Yeah, I I'm even, not gonna lie. I even saw you guys. You had you guys had like a phase in school where yeah, you, yeah where we, we even make these balls out of I paper know, yeah. and then you guys just like do the kick flip thing. Yeah, yeah, that's very much true. You know. <laughs> If it's cooking, right, we'd tune into 
cooking, you know, those channels where they share the best grilling techniques or dessert recipes. I swear, these things are so painful to watch when you're watching it at 3 in the morning or 2 in the morning. True! I mean, like, I used to be so passionate about bit, yeah. uh, mukbang. It's just that you get so hungry. Yeah, that's, it's so honestly, bad. Back then, um, for me to just, like, get over my hunger, I <laughs> watch. You want, yo, yo, if you guys try, if you guys, you know, are, are bored and you guys really want to do something, go watch Cooking, you know, cooking videos. Go watch, you know, mukbangs. Mukbangs. Go watch those things at midnight, like peak midnight. Like you know, <laughs> yeah. you have one a.m. two a.m. I swear, you'll end up cooking something at the end of the night. That's true. And then you just eat them. Yeah, you just eat, <laughs> eat them. And then them. you eat, and then you, after eating, you're like guilty. Why did I have to? Yeah, eat? Why I'm did not. I cook and all. I'm supposed to be fasting. Yeah. I'm on a diet, <laughs> those bro. Things, really? I swear. Like, if there's a subject that appeals to us, we'll make. You know, we'll take notice anytime it comes up right mm -hmm. in fact it's often like you know an area of personal study really? oh yeah yeah like, that's true you, know, you actually get in depth with it like whether it's in a, a musical instrument or a mm -hmm. a game right? yeah i remember um jared and i were talking if jared is still here you know say hi to jared in the chat <laughs> right remember jared and i we, were, we have a game we're playing a new game right uh, we're playing a game called Tower Fantasy. Oh. And you know, Jared managed, I can't believe this man, right? He managed to, un to like hit like 98%, I think? 99. 99% of the map yeah. in the span of three days. That is crazy. It is crazy to think about. Like, he went in depth, like, and he knows where to. I was like, yeah, ninety nine point seven. I was wondering, like, yo, Jared, what you know, what what can I do here? Cause like, I, I'm not the type of person yeah. who's you know who plays those kinds of games that True. much, right? But this guy has managed to hit ninety nine point seven percent in the span oh. of less than a week. Yeah, in less than a week. I swear, you know, like, yo, you know what's so nuts about this? He plays the game. He also has thesis. Yeah, he's. In the middle of his thesis, he, he plays this game. He also has he like plays other games, and he, and has, he has better time. Better time. At, like, at, at, at what time? Uh, yeah, at what, what time? Until what time? And I time. swear, like, yo, how do you get so in depth, man? Like, it is crazy. And then he says the the, the minimum time to be spent yeah, is five. five the, minimum in the game is five hours. Minimum. That's that minimum. Was minimum. I swear. That's minimum. But like, I didn't believe it until I did it. I was like, yo, it it actually. It's nearly five hours, but if you finish fast enough, yeah, yeah that's it's going to take, you know, a little bit shorter. But dude, that in depth, man, in the span of a, you know, of a week, it's insane. Yeah, that's right? crazy. It is insane. It's, a, you know, it's fine, of course, right? You know, to have outside interests and to be, excuse me, knowledgeable about certain things certain areas and you know and life in general yeah okay, but this is where you know love would ask the question how much do you know about your your mate all right your oh, mate, yeah, your someone you know you're actually like um yeah you you someone you love someone you you care for someone right? you spend most of your yeah life. someone you spend most of your time like how much do you know them right um if you do not have one you have a friend. You have friends, you have like friends. best friend or something right. like that. Best friend. Mm, oh yes. All right. Best friends. Best I swear. Friend. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah <laughs> All yeah. the secrets Not are there. Lie. But yeah, your friend. <laughs> All right. Why are you laughing? Nothing. Why are you laughing? All right. Your friends. If this doesn't apply to you because you don't have you know, a partner yet, <laughs> your friends. You then friend. your friends. Right. Your friends or. Your um, <coughs> your best friends, as Christian have said. Yeah. Right? So, or you know, your. Yeah. yeah the, how much do you know them? How much do you know? I would. Uh, on a scale of one, then, how much do you know my brother? Right. If you guys don't know, Seki and Christian are amazing friends. All right. On a scale on of a one. On a scale of one to I ten. I would say. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Seki, are you there? <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how much do, can you say you know Christian? Like. <laughs> what? He said what? Seven, Seven eight? Or eight, all right. See how much Christian knows, all right? Christian knows about Seki and Seki knows about Christian. It is insane. Christian knows 10. I 10 out of 10. I know a lot of things a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, and Seki is 8 out of 10. 
<laughs> oh, Christian's still a little bit private though. Yeah. I really haven't opened up so, much. So, um, <laughs> if you guys want to unravel his secrets, <laughs> he's open for business. No, uh, no, 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 no. I'm joking, I'm joking. All right, 15 out of 10, best friends, Jared says. Well, it is true. Like, there are some, you know, I have, you know, I have some friends, like, who know me in and out. Like, yeah, there's really that. Really in and out. Like, all my kalokohans and all, all the stuff. past. Yes, all my past, all my present oh my <laughs> and yeah you know they know it they know i have some friends you know and you know how much do you really know them right yeah, thinking you know true. back to the days when you were when you barely knew each other yeah all right um all right till now right did didn't you study you know that you know your friend mm -hmm. or maybe someone if you're in a relationship with someone someone you know someone you love right didn't you like study them I know this is weird to hear. Yeah, like, like did you, you study to, the observe? Yeah, or observe. Yeah, them. yeah, like yeah. their observe habits. The yeah, 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 This is very, very common. I, I swear, like, if you do not do this to your friend, or if your friend does not do this to you, I don't think you can consider yourself close friends. Yeah, because all. like you know um, what they order yeah, all the you time. Know, you know what they would order. You know what they would. You know they would do. All right, those things. Really, like those yeah. things. Those little <clears throat> things, those big things, right? It's kind of, you know, it's kind of uh, something that applies to, to your friends, to your, to someone, yeah, your partner, to someone you love. Yeah, mm -hmm. those things. Like, because like, I, like me, like, I, I do study my friends. Like, I do. In, I know it feels like weird and creepyish that you're studying <laughs> them and you're stalking them or whatever. <laughs> it's not that. It's not like stalking <laughs> or anything. But you're just studying them. You're just observing them, like, how they would approach people, how they would talk to people, how yep. they would, you know, deal with certain things or, you know, their mannerisms. We, we, should, we should probably ask chat, like, yeah. what's one thing you guys do? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. What is one thing, all right, you that guys, you have observed from, let's say, it's your best friend, your friend, your close or like friend, your or your partner, your lover, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, that you don't have to tell their name. You right? don't have you to, tell, have to their tell their name, but you just, like, you just tell them. What do you notice like the most about these people? Their habit. Their like, habit, their, whether uh, it's a habit, whether it's a, a mannerism they do. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you know, wh what is it? Like, what, what, no, can you give us something, right? Anything, really. Like, whether it's, if you don't have friends, <laughs> go make some. All right. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. I'm kidding, okay. <laughs> but if you don't have friends, you know, let's say to your sibling or to your family member. Oh, yeah, to right? What is, you know, what is something that you could say that oh this person does this a lot like you know come on just a quick one just a quick right? one just one just okay, one yeah. Yeah, i'll read one in the chat and then just one quick one anything right anything all right to all those people who are in a relationship now is your time to shine <laughs> right, now's your time to shine i noticed that they like dodging me with you the lot <laughs> hey hey, <yo>. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, you know, those little things, like, what they want to watch always. Because there are people, like, um, who just want to watch horror. I do not know the reason why. Oh, yeah, there's always going to be a reason behind that, for sure. But, like, why do you think that people want to watch horror movies a lot more than comedy? He's why would, no, no, no. I mean, because, like, I'm not... I'm not like the biggest fan of, you know, of horror. Like, yeah. It's alright to watch. It's alright. Like, I do not like, I'm not like, ooh, I'm scared. I don't wanna watch. Yeah. I'm okay. Like, I'm really just okay to, you know, to be there, to be watching. I'm, I'm fine with that, with all of that. It's just that I find it weird that people actually appreciate horror. I think I appreciate horror films when they are, they have a very unique plot twist. Oh like, yeah, that's that, that's like one of them. Us, is it us? Oh yeah, 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 us. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. The, That's Jordan Peele's, right? Yeah, yeah, Jordan Peele. Yeah, Peele's. that like that something like that movie. Yeah, is insane. Like yeah. I appreciated that one, even though it's a. He has a new one. Yeah, yeah. I haven't nope. watched that. Yeah. It's it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah. I'm actually excited to watch that one. But yeah, you know those certain things because you know, as normal. I'm not saying you know. I'm not saying to everyone, but like <laughs> as, you know, what's casual is that they would want something that would make their heart happy or themselves yeah. happy. That's why, you know, people lean more into, you know, watching 
um, comedy or rom com mm-hmm. or even like romantic stuff because it makes their heart happy, it makes yeah. you know, makes them joy, mm-hmm. joy more joyful or something, right? But with the people who watch horror films, there really is, you know, I find it weird that, you know, people appreciate that. I mean, you no, find not, it not weird? weird? No, no, no. <laughs> not weird that people appreciate it, but like, I find it weird that uh, people like enjoy, like, pre- and, like enjoy and prefer watching horror than watching. Why not? No, no, no. Of course, it's like, it's okay. There's, there's no, you know, there's no. Yeah. No wrong, you know. Yeah, there's no wrong, wrong choice yeah. or opinion when it comes to you know these like movies. But you know, it's just weird. I find it very fascinating. I'm not gonna say weird. I'm gonna say fascinating that people would you know, ooh, they like watching horror. Man. I would say for like let's say from my perspective, I I actually just love watching yeah, horror. Yeah. Probably is because I want something to give me a thrill. Oh, there's, there's that thing. too. Yeah, it's like I understand rom-coms. That. You're yeah, expected it, it, to, you know, yeah. happy ending well, and all that, that stuff. That is true, though. That is true. I think that's also partly the reason why. Yeah, so uh, I don't when watch. I watch horror movies, yeah. the thing is... It's always... I um, I would say a horror movie is scary or that good uh-huh. if it actually got me scared. Scared. That's true. This is the thing. Yeah, that's true. I think... Um, okay. One weird thing about me and my younger brother... Reason why we don't like what they call this watching horror films. Not that we don't like it. It's just because we predict. And yeah, there's that. It's very predictable. Mm-hmm. So like, oh, something will come up here, and then, yeah, something does come mm-hmm. up. So something like that. I think that is the reason why. Yeah, I may. I, I get why you're saying that too. Like um, rom coms, and uh, they're very. They're all the same most of the time. You know, either the guy or the gal loses something. Yeah. And, you know they break off and then they, you know men back together something like that all right mm-hmm. so you know yeah that does make sense you know when you think about it you know out of you guys where how about the people in the chat are you guys more um are you guys like do you guys love horror or do you guys don't love horror that's a quick quick poll that you yeah guys quick poll answer, you guys right? could probably we, you know while we continue on and on and on and on um all yeah right? so anyone you teach us so welcome to shift happens this is porgy and Psyche. <laughs> Borgie. <laughs> Borgie. What? Borgie. Christian. What? Borgie, Christian. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Okay. Going back. All right. Going back. When a man. All right. When a man. All right. Or, you know, is trying to, to win. You know, in this perspective. When a man's trying to win the heart of a woman, he studies her. I'm not sure if it's vice versa. I do not know. All right, but yeah. as a guy, I could attest to it. I, I could attest to it too. I'm not sure if all guys do this though. Do well, you, you you learn? Not really learn, but you actually study her, like study her, like how how she walks. Um, yeah, yeah, what I've she done does that. When I've she's d- nervous, you know those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know the tone of their voice if they're lying. Yeah, or something if they're like lying. That. I'm not sure if anyone, if all, if this is this this applies to women. Can someone confirm in the chat? All right, but yes. I, I have done this. I've done like, that. Like, you know, I observe, like, oh, what does she do when she she's nervous? What does she do? And, you know, yeah. She's those hungry. Things, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the tone of their voice. That is true. That is true. Right? Her, you know, you get to learn her likes, dislikes, habits, mm-hmm. hobbies. Right? But after, you know, uh, you win the heart of, you know, the person you like, right? You would often stop learning about that person. Yeah. Which is, you know, um, which happens very often true right? it is a you know it's also a good mistake it's not a, you know it's a mistake all right an honest mistake a lot of people make yeah all right the mystery and challenge of knowing her seems a lot less intriguing right and he finds his interest drifting to other areas already because you know you've already you know you've already won her heart so like you feel like you know oh i don't have to do it anymore yeah right? there's that. So, yeah there are many cases like that right mm-hmm. It's true. also true, apparently, for many cases of women who start off admiring and building respect for the person they, you know, that they desire, the, the man they want, right? But after, after you know, they're together already, those feelings begin to fade as reality, right, reveals that her, her prince, right, <laughs> you know, is a flawed and imperfect man, right? Yet there are still hidden things to discover about your, you know, your partner, yeah. right, or your friends, right? And this understanding will help draw you closer together right it can even give you favor in the eyes of your mate right right good understanding produces favor right consider the following you know perspective right 
if the amount you studied your, you know, your partner, the, uh, yeah, all right, uh, before you guys got together, all right, were equal to the high school diploma, or then you should continue to learn about your, you know, your mate, all right, until you mm -hmm. gain a college degree, right? Yeah. A master's degree, a doctorate degree, Woo! anything about it, right? <laughs> Thinking of it as lifelong journey that draws you, or draws you and your partner closer yeah, together, closer. right? Because, you know, I, th I think it is a, a very common mistake, I should say. Mm -hmm. Like, you stop learning about the person you like. Yeah, there's that. Mm -hmm. You stop learning about the person, you know, you're into just because you guys got together already. Like, you know, because I think um, what people, many people would consider, I'm not sure... Uh, what many people would consider, even to you know the younger generation, to the people who don't, who haven't gotten to you know, have you know a relationship yeah. with someone. I think the, the hardest part that most people would say is um, that that part where you're making legal. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that is the hardest part. People would, a lot of people would say, mm -hmm. like um, the courting. Though. Yeah, the courting stage is very hard because you know you'd have to, uh, you'd have to you know. Impress, yes, you gotta you have to impress, do you have to be stuffs. at the best state. But after that, though, you know, everything just drops. <clears throat> sometimes even drastically drops. Sometimes yeah, sometimes slowly, you just stop. But it, it drops. Mm -hmm. All right, it does drop. All right, and I think that is a very common mistake, and it's a huge mistake people make. Mm -hmm. All right, I think right, it, it, it is good too, right? Like, that you still like get to know her. Because, mm -hmm. right? you know, there's more to a person than just, you know, just seeing them, just hearing them, right? You know, That's true. It's an everyday thing. Like, it's everyday. Because, you know, that she might or he might have learned a new skill that you didn't know, right? Let's say she learned it or he or she learned a skill today. Yeah. Right? Tomorrow, you don't know that. Right? That's There's true. something new that has been added to her, you know, her list of skills. Something like that, mm -hmm. right? I think... Um, one thing that uh, you gotta know, right? This is, right? This is very uh, <laughs> common, right? This is very common. I think a lot of the new generation or people who are in a relationship now have been open more. Oh, yeah, that, that's, to that's... talking about certain <laughs> things, right? Yeah. But things like this. Because um, I think um, if you're in a relationship, well, it depends on the relationship, uh, on the stage of your relationship. I don't think you can be asking this. I think you can, all right? But I think it's gonna feel weird if you ask this in, in the earliest part of your relationship. I think okay. you get you, you get to like speak about these things when mm -hmm. you're a lot deeper, all right? I think, um, do you know what is their uh, greatest hopes and dreams? That is one thing you know you could ask your partner, all right? Do you fully understand how they prefer to give and receive love? Dude, I swear. Oh yeah. It is a big blessing to have, um, what do you call this? What's the term? Um, love languages, there we go. <laughs> it is a very big blessing that the love languages are more uh, prominent, they're yeah, 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 yeah. more spoken of these days. Yeah, the thing is, if you know. Yes, if you know and they know, it's going to be a lot easier for yeah. you. I swear. If you know and your partner knows their love language, I swear you guys could move mountains. You guys together. could click. No, no, no. no, but it's gonna be a lot easier for yeah, you. Yeah, it's just gonna go smoother. Yeah, it's gonna go smoother because I think one um, big factor, right? One big factor is that this isn't the common thing to talk about. Not all people know. Oh yeah. The five love languages, so it, it becomes harder to you know to to gauge. Yeah, right, that's true. To gauge your your partner, rather than you know just knowing, right? You'd have to you know to gauge your partner. What the, what does she like? What does, yeah. what, do we, what does he like? Oh, I give the if wrong thing. You guys do not know what the five love languages are. They're um, acts of service. They're um, um, physical touch. They're words of affirmation. Um, gifts. Yeah. And did I say acts of service? Yeah, you said acts of service. Quality, quality time. time. There we go. Yes, quality so time. Those are the five. All right, and I think this is something you know you you should know. Yeah. All right about your partner and yourself right. actually and yourself too. Yourself. It's too. also important Include to know. It. All right. Do you know what is their greatest fear? What does you know? <laughs> what are their struggles? 
Alright, because some fears, people don't want to talk about their fears. Oh yeah, there's like their po- past trauma yeah, their or past like um, something uh, that can be used against yes. them. Yes. That's the thing. Because, um, you know, people always would want to have their guards up. Yeah, there's right? that. They wouldn't want to be vulnerable. Even if it's to someone, they're, you know, they're very greatly invested. In, mm-hmm. They don't want they don't want to feel vulnerable. So they That's keep true. their guard up. Maybe put your guard down, man. <laughs> put your guard down. All right. You now, some of the problems you have in, you know, relating to your your uh, your partner is, you know, it's simply because you do not understand them. Like, like uh, understand, like in a in a way that, like, fully understand. Mm-hmm. Fully understand. I think that is also one of the biggest reasons why people get into quarrels, as you know, as oh, yeah, in that's, a relationship. That's... Is because you do not fully understand, or you do not understand. Sometimes you don't even try to understand because yeah, you're so it's, it's infuriated. You're it's so the mad. same. As, it's also it's the same so as last annoying. week's yeah. Um, topic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the and same as because you're so mad, you're so annoyed, you're so pissed, or you know that you fail to understand them. Mm-hmm. All right, they probably react very differently to certain situations than you do. That's true. And you can't figure out why. Yeah, that is very, very true. That's very, mm-hmm. very common. <laughs> All right, most especially. Okay, because you guys have to understand, you guys are raised in two different households. That's true. You guys are not siblings. You guys are two different people. You guys are two separate individuals. That's true. With different characteristics, with different traits, with different, you know, standpoints, with different, you know, beliefs and all. So you guys are two different people. All right? And, you you know, you, you get annoyed. You get pissed. That, Why can't I understand you? Yeah. You know, these differences, even the ones that are relatively insignificant, all right, can be the cause of many fights and conflicts in your relationship. Yeah, that's true. Very true. That's I false. swear. Very, very true. Like, <laughs> these little things. That we talked about this yeah, last week. Yeah, it's last week. These little things that the you have. The smallest things. The smallest of things turn into the biggest of battles, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> very big, too. All right? That's because, you know, as the Bible says, we tend to <clears throat> revile those things. And we don't understand. We just, we try not to understand most of the time because, you know, we're just consumed by our emotions that's true all right there are reasons for you know for their preferred tastes and preferences that's true like music taste i think who's the biggest influence of your music taste um i would say panic at the disco Mm -hmm. why did you choose like panic at the disco uh, is it because of a certain someone or you know it's just because you vibe with them a lot more or something um I would say number one is the is Brendan mm, yeah. and then um probably the the song itself the song like um like let's say the instrumentals yeah huh? you um, just love yeah. that one I see you know because you know like there are reasons for as I said there are reasons for their their taste or their yeah that's true preferences like us growing up um, my dad loved to play lots of lots and lots of metal, you know, and rock mm-hmm. bands in our household back then. All right, um, I remember we just hear Red Hot Chili Peppers playing like in oh. or like summer, right? Summer, yeah. and we would hear this at like eight o'clock in the morning. We just hear that thing play, <laughs> and then we have Metallica play, <laughs> and then. Um, yeah, Dream Theater, you just hear Dream Theater play. At, this is at, all at 8 o'clock in the morning. Crazy. Right? But sometimes, you know, my dad would start playing Earth, Wind, and Fire. All right. So, you know, those things, you know, they kind of contribute to mm-hmm. the way, like, we have our uh, music taste now. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, there's that. All right. The reason why we love the groovy ones, the funky ones. It's because of the, it, was, it was all because of those. Mm-hmm. Right? Each new songs, right? In your, in your partner's backstory. In your partner's, you know... Character, I mean, has a backstory, which is very true. That's true. I think I I need everyone to understand this, even to your friends. All right, to your friends. All right, to your family members. This you might be young. All right, you might be young. You might be young to to say and say that. Oh, I shouldn't even. You know, I shouldn't. I don't even need to understand this because I'm young, and yeah. you know, it's not gonna help that you know I I know these things. But I think it will help you understand, most especially. Um, <coughs> Um, I'll lean this a little bit towards your family first, right? Well, especially to those who's got um, who's got issues with your family, mm-hmm. right? I want you to understand that, right? 
e- each right and every right new sons in your um, uh, your parents um, character has a backstory mm. right the reason they are what they are right now right it's because there's a backstory behind that's true that, right the reason why they be you know they 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 believe that this way of you know raising you is that you know it's the best way it's because they you know there is a backstory i need you to understand that as young as you are because it's going to help you become a more understanding person as yeah, you that's grow true. Up, as you grow older um i think it it uh, it changes the way you would see people yeah definitely right? not just your friends <laughs> your 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 uh, your close friends or your family members or yeah your partner i think it would just change the way you see them and that you wouldn't judge everything that they do immediately yeah definitely yeah because i think as a young teen or as a young teen as a, a teenager are you still a, a teenager young, yeah, i'm not a teenager oh gosh right? we're old but you know like as you know as a person of the young age i think it is very easy to judge people and we would love to judge people oh yeah just because we it's, can i feel like when you reach your teenage years that that's like when you're that's your peak judgmental. Yeah. Like, it's like if you're a kid, you're like, okay. Yeah. yeah you're like, yeah. okay. And as you grow up, you just start to judge. Yeah. What you are start, those shoes? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like why, why are you like that? Why are you like that? I think like that, that is the one of the worst questions to be asked. Like, yeah. Why, are why you like you, that? Yeah. That's like, yo. You do not understand oh how, my how you know how bad that hurts. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I remember what's like. Wrong with me? Like when when you get asked that question, yeah. and you reflect back into your life. Yeah, like, you you're know, like, like, yo, what have I done? What, you know what, I mean? what did I do? When you get asked that, like, why are you like that? Like, no, oh no, my gosh, like, you start ah. you start having flashbacks. Yeah, you start what double thinking like everything. You start you know just start thinking about <laughs> everything. But yeah, all right, you know. I need you to understand that as in a young, in your young age, right? in our young age, because I'm still young too. <laughs> in our young age, I think we we need to understand that is that um, there is a backstory to everything that you know our again our friends, our family members, our yeah. partners have. There's always a backstory. Why is it? Why does she hate this? Yeah. Why does she hate speaking in front of people? Yeah, that's, why does that's she, true. you know, or why does she love, you know, speaking in front of people? There are those things. Right? Why do they love, you know? Why does he love to, you know, to? Why does he distance himself from people? Why does he, you know, why does he go, you know, you know, go to you know, go to all mm-hmm. his people? Why does he, why does he hang a lot outside a lot more? I think yeah. there's always a reason. <laughs> Excuse me. There's always going to be a backstory to that, right? And you have to understand, you know, knowing and understanding those things at a very young age could help. Yeah, that's you true. You understand, and you, you know, of course, it's gonna help you become a better person because you know you're a lot more understanding. You're a mm-hmm. lot more, you know. You see things differently. Yeah, you view things differently. You're, you kind of, you don't view them. I'd always think of it this way. You'd always view it. You wouldn't view it in a first person perspective. Yeah. You'd view it in a third person perspective mm-hmm. because, like, why is it? Because you know. And you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't judge them for it, but you'd understand them for it. Yeah, that's true. All right. See, each element of who they are, and right? how they think, all right, how they, you know, or what, you know, what they're like, all right, what they're like is, all right, is, is, you know, in a set of, you know, guiding principles, which often makes sense, right, only to the person who holds them. <laughs> right. <laughs> Someone said fourth person. Sheesh. Fourth, fourth wall breaking. The fourth wall. I swear, <laughs> if you break the fourth wall, you're kind of crazy. I'm not gonna you're next level, dude. What you're taking? Next level. <laughs> All right. Again, each element of who they are, right, how they think, and what he's like is, or what they're like, is couched in a set of guiding principles, which often makes sense only to the person who holds them. But it's mm-hmm. worth the time it will take to study you know why they are the way they are all right i think that is that is very true mm-hmm. all right you know it would it, it would pay right to understand them you know because it's gonna help you in your relationship as well together yeah that's true when you understand them and you know you get to see oh why are they like that mm-hmm, definitely you know, of course you wouldn't go and ask that. <laughs> you can ask you cannot don't personally just randomly right? why but are you, you know, like this like study it in yourself 
why are they like that? Why do they respond yeah. in fear instead of respond in, you know, in patience and in, you know, in confidence that, oh, this guy's, this person's trying to teach me something or tell me something. That's right? true. Why do they respond in, you know, in those, those in certain different ways? Right? It's because, you know, and you, it will help your relationship because, you know, now then you would know that, oh, this is why. Mm-hmm. Now this is why. So I have to be more careful when I speak about these things or, you know, yeah. those things. All right? If you miss the level of intimacy with your partner, right? you want shared with your partner. Right? One of the best ways to unlock their heart again is, you know, by making, you know, a commitment to know them. Just yeah, that's know true. them. Right? Just know them. Like, know them. You know, study them, right? read them like a book. And you know, you're trying to understand. Mm. Right? Read them like the game you're trying to play. All right? Read it. Flick. Read them like a book. Flick. All right? But you know, read them. You know, you under- try to understand them. You know, understand their fears, understand their traumas, understand mm-hmm. their joys. Definitely. You know, why are they so... Uh, why are they so happy when you talk about certain things? Why are they not happy when you talk about yeah. certain things? Why is this their humor? <laughs> yeah, like why is their humor like that? You know, all right? you're becoming a psychologist, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, psychologist yeah, yeah. in your relationship, right? You no, know, because it would help, all right? You know, I growing up right now and hearing, you know, people talk about it, love and, you know, your relationship. Loving someone is simple yet complex. Yes. At the same time. I could say that. True. Um, it is simple <laughs> in a way that you just gotta love. Yeah. Right? When you think about it in that sense. You just gotta love. In that perspective. You just gotta love them. But it's complex in all the other dimensions it has. It's right? true. It is, there are so much dimensions. There's so much categories that, you know. You know, and you know, like this one, like uh, loving them, understanding them. You know, it, it, it is not a simple task to do. It's not a simple thing to do. But, you know, it makes your relationship a lot better. There are little... Yeah. Men and you know, little and big factors that play on to your relationship. That's true. And ask questions, right? You know, the Bible says the ear of the wise seeks knowledge, right? Love takes initiative to begin conversation. Yeah, that's yeah. All right. Again. I agree to that. Okay. I'm gonna say this one, all right? Just so, just this <laughs> once. All right. <clears throat> Shoot your shot. Oh. All right? Yeah, I guess you definitely. I'm saying, right? Shoot your shot. Um, so whether you're a guy, you're a gal, shoot your shot, right? You know, uh, don't think that you're not, you know, you're not. If you think you're ready and you believe you're ready, shoot your shot. Yeah, why not? Just shoot your shot, you know. You'll never know where it will get you, okay? You'll never know <laughs> where it will get you. All right, I'm just going to keep it there. <laughs> When you get rejected, it is what it is. <laughs> if you do get rejected, hey, okay. If you do get rejected, move on. Yeah, that's it. Just move on. Move on. All right. You don't have to overcomplicate it. You don't have to, you know, to uh, drag yourself through the depth of the, of the abyss <laughs> just because you, you, you got rejected. Move on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Maybe it's God's way of telling you that's not the person I'm pushing you towards. Yeah, or you're not ready. Right? You're not ready for her yet. Mm-hmm. Right? For them yet. All right. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Go. Definitely. All right. I'm going to say that just now. Shoot right? your shot. Anyways, love takes initiative, right? Start conversations, right? Again, you know, <laughs> whatever relationship you're thinking of, you know, with that person that you like or something, all right? Um, it's not gonna happen if you do not approach and talk to them. That's right? true. Whatever fantasy you're thinking of is never gonna happen if you do not say hi at least. Hi. Yeah, right? I mean, like you, you know, like the Disney love stuff. Yeah, those are like those that. are not true, right? legit. It's I mean, those those are literally like just that. one way to. I'm not. I hate to break it to you guys. Yeah. Right? Well, <laughs> to the younger generation right out there. I hate to break it to you, but okay. All right? Yeah. It starts with, you know, a simple hi. All right? Your love story could start with a simple hi, a hello. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Enough of me saying that. <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't think of your way open up, right? They need to know that you're, you know, that your desire for understanding them is real and genuine. That's, That's true. true. Mm-hmm. All right? You're doing it not to... Um, 
Because it's hard to be vulnerable in front of someone. That's true. Right? That's very difficult. Well, it, even if it's to your family members, right? It is kind of hard, really. Yeah. You know, to be open and to be vulnerable in front of them. But you have to understand that when they're doing this to you, they're doing this for you, right? they're opening up, right? You have to know that, you know, tell them I'm, it's real and it's genuine. It's not mm-hmm. to harm them. It's not to, you know, to... to uh, they call us to expose them or anything but it's just yeah. because you know because you're genuinely and you know you you're, you want to be real with them I want to be real with you I want to know you like know you a lot more mm-hmm. you know listen wise men store up knowledge but with the mouth of the foolish ruin is at hand alright yeah. the goal of understanding them alright is to hear them not to tell them what you think yeah just to hear them just listen them. just listen just listen alright I think alright Another year, another thing. <laughs> all right, another tips in Morgan. Tip. No joke, all right, no joke. Because this thing works and has worked. Okay. All right. Be a great listener. Yes, true. If you do not, if they don't need you to speak, and you know, of course, you're, you could feel, you know, the environment that you guys, you know, are at. Right? Mm-hmm. Not, not the. You, not, physical, the li- not, not physical environment, no, 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 right? No. But the emotional environment yes, you're at. Yes. <laughs> All right. Just feel it. If you need to just listen, then please listen. Yeah, go with just their vibe listen. and like listen. Do not, you know, add any other thing because it could ruin it for you, okay? Because some people just want someone to hear, you know, to listen to them. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because like sometimes they just like pay the... What's worse yeah. is that they make it about themselves. Yes. That's yeah, like, that, that's that's the worst. That's the one. major red flag yeah, about like, when why when you're I, just supposed to listen. Listen, but yeah, they make, they make it about, about you. Like, that is true. Bro, what? Right? Even if, right? Even if, okay. Even if they are not talkative at all, right? yeah. love calls you to draw out the deep water that dwells within. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, just listen to them. Like, listen to them. Listen to you know. Um, listen to them. Um, speak. Listen to them, you know. To listen to them, express their feelings out there, you know. You know, and just listen. Just, yeah, you know, just just be there. Just be present. Just be, be there. At the moment, you know, be there to listen. I think, all right. This is an underrated trait that you could probably have or you could develop. Yeah, right? definitely. This, all right. Okay, this trait of you know being there, being present, being able to listen is an underrated trait. I swear. True. No matter how. Okay. If you think the person is way out of your league, let them. You know, and you start hearing. I swear, it is underrated because sometimes mm-hmm. they would just want someone to hear them. That's true. Most of the time. All right. Okay. I have had lots of experiences with that one. They just want someone to listen. That's true. That's yeah. true. At the end of the conversation, all right, it's of course, right, love is more than that, right? You know, you guys being together in a relationship, it's going to be more than just that, for sure. Yeah. All right. But the, at the end of every conversation, all right, you know, I have like lots of people would just come up and say, all right, this is random people many people right? mm-hmm. many other people they would just go thank you for listening like oh, I've yeah. never had anyone listen to me I feel like it's like the biggest compliment yeah that's I think for me like okay that was very cool like yeah yeah, yeah because like to think about it why is that thing so why you know why is it why did they say that I haven't had anyone listen to me in so long just that alright means that there's so much input all right yeah to them but there's no output that's true there's no output at all all right social media all right the news you know everything is all input it's all just input to yeah. you input 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 and you know their relation other relationships there you know their other you know their, their problems true. it's all just input yeah. Most of the time, people don't have output. Yeah, that's the they, thing. They, that's they the have, truth. It's either they don't have, you know, um, they don't know how to, or they don't have a way to output. Yeah, that's true. And I think that is a big, you know, a big, big uh, concern. Yeah. Right? Like, they don't have, they like, face. a copium. Yeah, oh, there's copium. Copium. <laughs> <laughs> 
Copium. 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 But yeah, there's just so much input and then the very minimal output, Co- if not zero output. Yeah, zero. I swear. All right. There's too much, right? There's just too much, right? That's, you know, that's with anything, too. I can't believe you said copium. <laughs> <laughs> copium. But anyways, right? No, you can ask God for discernment, right? The yeah. Lord gives wisdom from His mouth, right? Come knowledge and understanding. Things like uh, gender differences, family backgrounds, all right, Va- you know, varied life experiences, all right? It can cloud, all right, your ability to your, you know, to know your your partner a lot better all right yeah their heart you know their their heart their motivations right but god just give her wisdom right lord will show you all right what you need right in order to you know to know and love them better mm-hmm. right? definitely excuse me my wisdom all right a house is built by understanding it is established and by knowledge the roots are filled with all precious and pleasant riches that's in proverbs 24 all right there is a depth of beauty and meaning inside, you know, your person, yeah. your partner, all right, that will amaze you as you discover, the, you know, more mm-hmm. of it, all right? Enter the mystery with expectation and enthusiasm, all right? Desire, a genuine and pure desire, right? To know this person even better than you do now, right? Yeah, Take definitely. Them, all right? You know, your chosen field of study, and right? you will feel, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna... It's gonna help you guys a lot better, I swear. Like mm-hmm. your relationship is gonna progress a lot better. You guys get closer. You guys can get closer as mm-hmm. well. You know, so those things, right? Those things. I think that is a key takeaway for tonight, because we're ending. All right. Um, that one, like, um, I need you, you guys have to understand too that you know, the world, all right, and the world we live in has been, um, you know. Uh, has have has had you know too much input yeah in that's the lives true of everyone like social media dis- dictates you know the say of many people these yeah. days um, social media has become the say all right it has become you know the say like if you do not incline with social media then your say is wrong yeah that's right? true there has been so many of that and I think it's just uh, wrong all right to let Social media dictate your relationship. That's true. All right. <clears throat> you know, you cannot, right? If you do really love and genuinely, you know, care for someone, all right? You cannot let social media dictate your relationship. That's definitely, right? yeah. You cannot let, you know, whatever you see, whatever you hear in you know, social media dictate, you know, what, what your relationship is going to be like because... There's so in social media, there's so much. Let's just give one. Um, there's so much. Um, there are many. Yeah, there's many definitely things out a lot. there. All right, but um, let's say, all right, um, you have the biggest one now is that all men are you know are cheaters. Let's just say. Oh right? yeah. All men are cheaters. <laughs> all right, you cannot go around and generalize it and even add your partner to the whole equation. Oh yeah. All right. Most especially if you do know, all right, if you know that your person, that your man, right, is gonna be offended by that, right? Because there are people who get offended by it. Oh, yeah, there's who definitely. Who get offended? Like, it's why like, would you consider me? It's a like team? hot topic. Yeah, and on it's Twitter. gonna be a big, right? They're gonna make the whole fight a lot bigger. Yes. All right. If you do know, then don't generalize your man with it, all right? Or you know your person with it. Whether that's you know vice versa, all right, man, woman. Right? Do not do it. Right? Do not mm-hmm. do it. Definitely. You know? Do not again. Do not let social media dictate your relationship. That's true. All right. And again, all right. Our topic is love mm-hmm. seeks to understand. Mm-hmm. Again, as I said earlier, there's too much input these days. Less output or very minimal output. You know, if your partner needs it, your friend needs it, your mom, your dad, your sibling needs it. Let them. You know, it's not lashing out. It's understanding them. That's like, yeah. You know, if you see it as they're lashing out, that's not how you should see it. Right? Yes. It's understand them. All right. Understand them. It's 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 a beautiful thing to do. All right. It's a beautiful th- and underrated thing to do. That's really. definitely listening. True. Having someone listen to you, very much underrated. People do not have that one. 
uh, a lot yeah, these days. Yeah, a lot of people don't have that kind of outlet. Yeah, like, these days, like, it's very hard for them to find yeah. one. That's why, that's why people go to... That's why they resort to a lot of things. Yes. That's true. That's why when people don't find the outlet, you know, any, someone to talk to, yeah. they just, uh, like, let's say they drink or... They try. Yeah. They try things that they think would help, and benefit help or them. benefit them or, yeah. like, um, at least put their minds out of that. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's very true. And, you know, that leads to many more things. For yeah, it, it, it leads to more problems. Yeah, so more problems. Yeah. And it's for another topic for sure. Yes. It's a bigger topic. All right. But yeah, you know, this thing, all right, um, I think that understanding why people act in certain ways, why people, you know, think in certain ways, mm -hmm. it's all, again, as we talked about earlier, it's all because of the, of a backstory. Yes, it's a, a backstory background. Behind it. There's always going to be a background behind it. Definitely. Me, you know, as someone who genuinely loves and cares, as pure, it's, you know, as pure as you, as you can be, right? as genuine mm -hmm. as you can be, uh, try and understand them for you know, for your relationship. Because you know, That's true. not to be able to humiliate them or not, you know, not to be able to you know, to um, to yeah, have something to, to harm them, yeah. Right? But like, but to just be gen you know, just to genuinely like, I want to know you. Like, I want to know yeah. your <clears throat> your stance towards certain things. I want to know just that. You know, it it goes a long way. Yeah. It will go a long way. Alright? So, okay, that is it. Alright, that is it for you now. Uh, love seeks to understand. Yes. Alright, this is love there. Alright, and this is shift happens, alright? Where shift, shift happens. happens. Okay, so I hope that you guys have uh, learned much. Or, you know, if you understood much. Yeah. Alright? You may have not learned, but I hope you understood. <laughs> I hope we hope you guys yeah, we, listen. We hope you guys listen because love seems oh. to understand. No, yes. No, I hope like you understood. Like uh, you understood that. Um, yeah, you understood what we you know we were trying to, you know, to say what we we're trying to talk about, and you know, because I believe that you know, really, I'm grateful. I'm very, very grateful. Yeah. I've told this to some of my friends, most of my friends in college uh, my close friends in college and my brothers i said i'm very grateful that i have learned these things at a very young age oh yeah that's true because now that i've known this in a very young age then i wouldn't you know miss step yeah that's true know, miss step you know when you go when, out yeah when i go out when i start <clears throat> you know living life and having you know the family having mm -hmm. you know, relationships and all it's you know it's gonna change everything like literally everything that has you know that i once viewed right that's true because you know at a young age there's most especially when you're young you don't have your stand yet mm -hmm. yeah um, definitely so it is very uh, complicated all right so but this one right knowing and understanding this at a very young age right you might not understand it or you might not see it yet but it is gonna help yeah all right? it's gonna help you view the world in a more in a much more mature way. For yeah, in a mature say. way. Yeah. So, yes, we thank you guys for tuning in. All right, well, you see you guys on the next, all right? Um, it, is, it has been amazing to be able to see you guys, all right, on Facebook and then YouTube. And, then YouTube. and YouTube Live. All right, so, yes, um, um, yeah, that would be it for uh, uh, Fuel Nights and Shift Happens, okay? We'll see you guys in the next. There's more to come, all right? And, yeah, you can follow us on our... Um, social media so pages, pages. Facebook, we have right now. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram. Right now. Instagram, yes. Um, Twitter. Twitter, yes. uh, TikTok. Twitter, right? um, we do have Twitter. What else do yeah, we have? TikTok, we've got Discord. Discord, yes. Um, yeah, yeah, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's in the description no, if you yeah, guys are watching YouTube. YouTube, it's all there. Right, so, yes, right, it is amazing. Right? It has been a, an amazing talk. Yeah. Right. Peace out, everyone. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys Love next you guys week. So much. We'll see you guys next week. All right. Yep. Goodbye, everyone. Peace Sheesh. out. Woo. All right. I'm not sure if our, our tech guys are still, you know. Yeah. We're still busy. I just finished this. <laughs> yeah. Peace out, everyone. That's some good coffee. <laughs>